Alrighty, so in this video, we're going to dive into a deep discussion of who OpenAI is, the company behind ChatGPT. There has been a lot of requests for this video for people out there who wonder, like, who actually created ChatGPT? And, you know, what do they do? How can I invest? We're going to discuss all of that in this video. So, uh, to pop off the video, I asked ChatGPT who is OpenAI, and ChatGPT is the creator, as you can see, OpenAI. Um, you know, they are the creator, so I asked OpenAI, who is its creator? <laughs> um, questions humans ask often. But anyway, OpenAI is a research organization that aims to promote and develop friendly artificial intelligence in a responsible way. It was founded in 2015 by a group of entrepreneurs, researchers, philanthropists, with the goal of advancing AI research, ensuring that the benefits of AI are widely, fair, widely and fairly shared. OpenAI focuses on a variety of research areas related to artificial intelligence, including Machine learning, robotics, and economics. The organization is headquartered in San Francisco, California. So, as you can see, that is a, you know, a fairly plain example, you know, but they don't really go into the real deep delving of who OpenAI is. And what I'm going to do, I've done research on the company um, since they came out um, with these tools. They start releasing them, and you know, I'll, I'll give you the layman's man's version of it. So, essentially, OpenAI. As you can see right here, they are a research and development company, right? And the reason OpenAI started, they started back in around 2015. And as you can see, the team right here, these are the smartest people in Silicon Valley, right? So they started with a billion dollar startup budget. And this guy, Sam Altman, he's been in Silicon Valley for a very long time. He's a legend out there. He started, um, I don't know if you heard it, but it's called... Uh, Y Combinator with the best startup. So, you typically, if you become, if you start up a company, right, and you want to become a billion dollar business, you're going to run into this guy sooner than later, right? And, you know, he's, he's tied in with, you know, Uber, Airbnb, every big startup that has started within the past 10 years has run through this guy, simply put, right? So, to start this company, him, also Elon Musk, they don't show him here because he wanted to essentially separate himself, you know, to not have any conflict of interest, you know, which I believe is the correct thing to do. Um, but Elon Musk also start, started this company with him as a, another founder, right? And these are some of the other co-founders, COO, and things of that nature. But uh, how they started, they got the, the best people in the planet at coding, um, science, research, and things like that, and gave them a billion dollars. Simply put, that's how they started, right? So, um, after, after doing that, what they started to do was research artificial intelligence, and, you know, they recently just started releasing these tools, but they have been doing this since about 2015, so that's about, today's, tw uh, this is 2023, so about eight years now, right? So, that's, that's essentially how they started. Again, these are the smartest people you could have hired and they gave them a billion dollars. So, you know, that's the team, right? So now about more about OpenAI, from the words of their mouth, OpenAI is an AI research and development comp deployment company. Our mission is to ensure that artificial intel general intelligence benefits all of humanity. So instead of like some of the other big players out there like Google, Microsoft, creating an AI and then just keeping it for their own benefit, you know, OpenAI was designed to create AI that the general public could use and make it a fair, you know, assessment so that all of humanity can use it rather than just keeping it in, creating this super powerful AI and keeping it in the hands of, you know, the, the top companies. You know, Google has their own AI and it's extremely advanced too, but, you know, what good is it if the general public can't use it and put it on a playing field? Now, that would be totally unfair for a handful of people to have this AI and only be able to use it within a, a team of 10. Now those two, 10 people will become extremely powerful, you know, and you know, it's our truthfully, truthfully to be told that, you know, Google's AI has been out for a minute and they've been using it, you know, already, you know, they haven't released it to the public uh, in, a, in a large scale, but, you know, there's people out there who's using Google AI. So if you want to know how some people get ahead further than others, you know, there you go. But anyway, that's besides the subject. OpenAI was created to make it a fair 
an equitable future for all, to simply put it, right? So that's why I got together, create this AI and, you know, distribute it to the public rather than it just being in the hands of, you know, one or two powerful people, they distribute it to it all. Um, and Elon Musk and also this guy Sam Altman right here, you know, they wanted to, you know, they're very philanthropic guys. These guys have hundreds of millions of dollars. They're worth hundreds of millions of dollars, you know, and, you know, after a certain level of money, you know, the best thing you could do is give back, you know, so these guys don't really need more money. These guys are all millionaires. They don't really need more money. And, you know, typically with Sam Altman, he invested in a lot of startups, you know, that went on to come billions and worth billions and billions of dollars. So these guys are already loaded and, you know, they just wanted to do something philanthropic and, you know, release an AI that everyone can use. So as you can see, all of humanity. So that was um, open AI. So now we're going to discuss some of the tools that open AI created. Right. So. And this this uh, this is a very good article I found that just pretty much discusses chat GPT and you know open AI so chat GPT they, they re open AI recently even though they've been in development for seven or eight years they recently just started to release some of the tools right so they have a lot of other tools that they've created that are still in the vault you know but chat GPT just to show you the capabilities of what they created is one of the first well it's one of the second ones they released so in November 2022. So, again, um, these are one of the founders, Elon, Sam, some of the other guys. Um, started back in 2015, and they gave OpenAI $1 billion and said, here, have at it, see what you can create, right? So, Elon has since stepped back from OpenAI, you know, to avoid a conflict of interest. And he also tweeted, OpenAI should be more open, in my opinion. So, he knew long before you know what's going on you know behind the scenes and wow this technology is so great and if you know elon he's a very elon is a special character to, to say the least but he's a, i would say he's a fair guy you know and he instead of just having him and his silicon valley buddies you know have this open ai and just be able to use it for them he said open ai should be more open and within two years you know he released it to the public so these are the some of the um other founders and you know a lot of times when when there's a technology this powerful so shout out to elon because if there's a technology this powerful you know a lot of people would just keep it to themselves but elon you know him being one of the founders and one of the most powerful men and the richest men on the planet says it should be more open rather than just keeping it in between these oops these type guys you know he said it should be more open so shout out to him for that because we probably would have had it so open ai pretty much just does research on it's called a natural language processing model, right? So what it does is it take it can take all of these scripts and begin to understand, you know, how the human thinks and how the human writes. And when you do that long enough over thousands and thousands and thousands of texts, millions and millions and millions of words, you know, it can begin to put together sentences in a way that, you know, humans do it. So that's that's essentially what's going on and how OpenAI is so, uh, or ChatGPT is so developed and understands what you're asking rather than having to put it in a Google search term for SEO purposes. It has read millions of pages over million, I mean, oh, sorry, over seven years. <laughs> and, you know, it's, it, it was able to develop its own algorithm for understanding human speech and how to create it in a way that we understand, right? So, uh, OpenAI's universe, so this is just what, so a few of the products it has created. OpenAI ChatGPT, so it's been trained for years and years and years. We all know ChatGPT. Um, somebody says it's scary good. Yeah, yeah we, we know that. And e Oh, speaking of that, it's also Elon Musk, right? So again, I know you know that Elon Musk knows about the behinds of scenes of ChatGPT. And he said ChatGPT is scary good. Keep in mind, this is the smartest, well, not the smartest man, but the richest man on the planet. And he says we are not far from dangerously strong AI, which I agree, right? So he knows what's going on behind the scenes. So this is why I created this course because I need people to understand, you know, what is actually going on. Like this is this is about to change the face of the internet. I mean, the face of the world in a matter of months. When ChatGPT four, five, and six come out, the world will be changed forever, and it already has changed for those who know. So shout out to you for even being in this course and wanted to learn about OpenAI and ChatGPT. 
because this is literally going to change, you know, the face of the planet, you know, and it's going to be able to automate a lot of jobs. Speaking of that today, as of January 6th, um, the first robot lawyer using ChatGPT is going to court. So soon, public defenders will be defeated, maybe judges. You know, it's, it's a lot going on. So if, if the richest man on the planet who has access to the best technology on the planet says, ChatGPT is scared good and we're not far from dangerously strong AI, you should most definitely listen. So ChatGPT, I mean, OpenAI is also a nonprofit. You know, so they are not doing this. You know, if they, if they were a business, you know, they would be very rich by now. Um, they already are very rich. But, um, you know, if they were business and were their whole goal was to make money from it, you know, it will be less, what's the word, less equitable for all if their goal was to just be a business software, right? So their goal is to, they started as a nonprofit to actually, you know, do some good in the world, right? So OpenAI also has collaborated with Microsoft, you know, so Google has a competitor, Microsoft just joined, um, you know, to pretty much even the playing field and do it in an open way. So shout out to Microsoft for that. So that's just a brief article. And some of the other tools, if you're not familiar with OpenAI that they have released is Dolly 2. Now I remember when Dolly first came out, I thought this was the greatest thing since the since sliced bread. I, I, I tell you, like I, you know, I didn't, I was telling everybody about it and everybody was just like, oh, okay, cool, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So just a quick recap of what it does. So what you can do is you can type this in and Dali will create a image from text. So if, if you can, you know, it's up to your imagination, but you can say an armchair in the shape of an avocado and Dali will print an image like it. In this one, 3D render of a cute tropical fish in an aquarium on a dark blue background, digital art. And this is what Dolly 2 came up. Keep in mind, none of these images exist. These images have never existed on the planet. And a, com a computer made it. Now, when I first found out about this, I thought, like I say, this was the greatest thing ever. You know, and then when ChatGPT came out, I my mind was blown, you know, simply put. So this one, a 3D render of an astronaut walking in a green desert, you know, still amazing. A plush toy robot sitting against a wall, a yellow wall. Keep in mind, these images do not exist. So I just want you to, you know, as you see these images, understand, you know, they don't exist anywhere but now until you create it, right? Never existed before. A photo of Michelangelo sculptor wearing a David, of David wearing a headphones, DJing. You know, these images do not exist. And, you know, there has been a lot of flack coming from artists, you know, saying, hey, well, you know, you know, they're, they're a little scared, you know, and rightfully so. But I think with art, you know, if you're scared, you should be scared. But for the artists who aren't scared, you know, people will appreciate good art and craftsmanship. So don't really worry too much about that if you are an artist. But, um, yeah, so let's continue. Um, as you can read that, these keep in mind, these images do not exist. And, you know, these were just a, this was the first rendition of what OpenAI released, you know, and this was ChatGPT. And then after... A, mo a month or two of Chat uh, Dali being out, Chat DBT came out and you know it, it blew the world's mind. So you know I remember when it first came out, it blew my mind. And then Chat DBT came out, it blew my mind even more. I didn't even have a mind after Chat DBT came out. So again, these are just some of the small AI tools. I, I say small in quotations. You know that OpenAI has released, and keep in mind they've been doing this for seven years since 2015 and they have a lot more in the bank you know so this is the guy Sam Altman this is him right here if you ever see him anywhere uh, you know this is I could tell you from experience I, I applied to Y Combinator and you know I didn't get accepted haha <laughs> but um, you know I've, I've learned that they if you want to build a big company on the planet this is the guy who you want backing him Elon and a, a bunch of other smart guys these guys right here Brad, Greg, I don't know who Mira is, but Ilya, you know, these are very smart people and they gave them a billion dollars and they, you see what they turned out with. So OpenAI, um, this is going to be one of the next trillion dollar companies. It'll probably be the fastest company to get to a trillion dollars. Um, it's worth multiple, multiple billions already. Um, it'll be worth billions sooner than later. I don't think you were able to invest in it yet. Um, 
you know, if you are, uh, you know, it may, who knows, who knows if they'll let you invest in it. Um, I know it's a nonprofit, so I'm not sure how that will work. But um, this is going to be one of the fastest companies to a trillion dollars. And, you know, these are just a few of the tools, you know, that they're releasing. So if you are one who wants to pretty much understand, you know, about, you know, the next revolution of AI, you know, this is the company you should know about. You know, they're, they, I don't want to say they're the biggest, you know, but they're the ones who are actually putting out their research and putting their money where their mouth is. A lot of AI companies have done, you know, great things, but, you know, they haven't released it to the public. And what good is a book that has never been shown to anybody? Nothing. It's worth nothing. You know, so OpenAI is actually putting out their tools and, you know, putting their money where their mouth is. And it's, you know, we see the results. So that's it for this uh, course right here so far. Open. This is who OpenAI is, the creators of ChatGPT. You know, they're going to be, as you can see, they started with a billion dollars. Now they're worth 29 billion. And they're going to be worth a lot more. So, you know, I will stay very close to this website right here and what they put out and anything they put out, I will look um, very deeply into it. Also, I want to show you another tool that they released under ChatGPT Dolly 2 Whisper, right? So Whisper is a automatic speech recognition tool. And what it does is it can di dissect speech. So say for instance, you, you hear someone talking in the background and you want to understand what they're saying or you have a song that was playing in the background of a lot of talking and you want to know what that song is, that's what this does. So here it goes. This is the Micro Machine Man presenting the most midget miniature motorcade of Micro Machine. Each one has dramatic details, terrific trim precision. If you were to speak this fast into Google, Google would not understand nothing you're saying and, you know, it will tell you to try again a million times. But Whisper was able to take this text, decode it, and understand the human element of what these, this guy is saying and able to erase a transcript. I'll play it a little bit more. This dude, this dude is speaking uh, very fast and the machine was able to dissect and decode exactly what he's saying. Because it has 680,000 hours of multilingual and multitask data collected from the web. So that's how it's able to you know, fine tune his skill. So it can able to dissect songs. Even in different languages. Different um different languages also. Whisper is a system of reconnaissance automatic of the parole entraîné sur six is able to eliminate the background noise, you know, um and you know really understand what the person is saying and one more even with people with heavy accents so southerners i'm a southerner you probably hear my voice a little bit if you're from new york or another place but yeah this is what it does even accents in other languages so that's really amazing you know that's just one of the tools but that's it for this video let's go on to the next